Germany has ordered Facebook to stop collecting users' data without their consent. This applies to data the company collects about users' activities on third-party apps and websites, and even Facebook's WhatsApp and Instagram platforms. Germany's top antitrust enforcer said that Facebook has abused its dominance as a social media network by making the collection of users' data a condition of being able to use it. This latest development comes as Facebook and other tech giants face increasing regulatory pressure in Europe. So guys, let me know, what do you think uh, the impact this will have on Facebook's business model in Germany? I mean, well, I hurt think... its profitability. That's what Facebook has said before. Well, yeah, sure. No, like, I they mean, they don't I... want to change the way they do business. Well, who would want to change the way they do business when it's been working out? They could get away Data with anything. Data collection is the business. Get away with anything they want over there. No, I think I think when we've talked about GDPR, especially as we saw Google get fined, what was it, fifty million dollars in terms of their violations in France? A slap on the wrist, you might Fish say. Tosh. But it's also, you know, one of the first times since that's been in place that a big tech giant has actually missed the mark in terms of improving what they've been doing over there. And so I think, you know, when you when you look at Germany, it's 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 much kind of the similar thing where all these tech companies are trying to test what they can actually get away with. And I think Europe's been leading the way in a lot of the discussion in terms of setting the tone for for telling tech companies what you can and cannot do. Well, yeah, and I remember hearing for so long about how, oh, GDPR, which is this great thing uh, across the pond that's been really protective for users and great. It's coming to the US. US companies are going to have to comply with GDPR. Mm, hasn't happened uh, so quickly. And Facebook, uh, it's another kind of log on the fire. I mean, I just go back to uh, the earnings. I mean, the earnings were great. That's all anyone cared about. That's what the street cared about. Stock popped. I just think in general, it's like everyone wants to be the company or regulatory body or government official who now says, mm, I'm going to, I'm cracking down on Facebook too. Hey, Facebook, here's what, it's like, okay. I mean, it just kind of, it's almost like the more you hear about this, the less of an impact it has. Well, what I thought it, was really. white noise now. Well, what I thought was really interesting was that back in January, there were U.S. regulators, a report came out that they were considering giving Facebook a record fine. Now, we haven't seen that fine right. actually pan out, so then there's questions of well, what's going on. Is there lobbying going on behind the scenes? Mm -hmm. But it could come down in the U.S. too. They may be facing fines because of not letting their uh, users, you know, be able to at least own your own content. That sure. is, you know, not allow the company to sell it to other people. I mean, we had Roger McNamee, uh, early Facebook investor on Wi-Fi PM yesterday, and it was just kind of surprising to see his shift because he's been there from the beginning, and now he's even coming out and saying that what they're doing is not what they were built to do. And he goes even further than that. He's talking about like how Facebook is hurting democracy. Exactly. So that's like an, another and harming the public. Really, of, it's, it's yeah. yeah, it's not good. Author of a new book called Zucked. Yeah. Right.